Mike Gundy wearing that T-shirt is just shows how oblivious he is. And being oblivious right now is part of the problem. It's that white people for 400 years haven't really, really, really cared enough about racism. I mean, some of us really care. Some of us have absolutely despised the lynching and police brutality and slavery and Jim Crow laws. But there isn't enough white people that have said, you know what, this is really bad. We have to change this. How do we change this? No, we, we kind of have allowed it to just do whatever it does over the course of time. I mean, it's not that long ago, like 50 years ago, that interracial marriage was okay. I mean, think about that. Like the civil rights movement, I'm 40 years old, I'll be 41 next week. The civil rights movement was only 10 years before I was born. We're talking about 10 years before I was born, not everybody had equal voting rights in America or equal housing rights in America. This is not that long ago. The fact is, white people just haven't cared enough, okay? And now finally it feels like they're caring. And for Mike Gundy, he really just is oblivious. He just doesn't really care enough, and here's why. Let's just say, okay, that there is a big fracking company. And this big fracking company, let's call it Tower Fracking, has pretty relentlessly gone through lower economic communities and bought the land and shoved those people out so that they could frack. That they came through and they bought this track of land and that town and that little town and that little town and they just bought the land and shoved everybody out and they basically pushed these people into apartment buildings or tenements or really, you know, places of poverty. These people had kind of worked to their bone to have a little house on a little piece of land and now a fracking company said, you know what, screw you guys, we're buying the land, you guys are out of here and we're fracking. Okay, and let's say that like, I don't know, 75% of Mike Gundy's team, his fa those families of those players had been displaced by a fracking company for like the last 50 years. And so it was they had been displaced and their parents had been displaced and maybe their grandparents had been displaced as well. And that this fracking company had come through and kind of laid waste to a number of the towns and communities that his players had come from. And then Mike Gundy goes fishing in a tower fracking t-shirt. Now you might say, well, so what? It's a t-shirt, okay? So what? He's not the one fracking. But it would show a complete obliviousness to your players. Most of his players are probably in complete support of Black Lives Matter. Most of his players are probably completely in support of the social protests going on. Most of his players have come from a place where they have absolutely not felt like equal Americans within their families and within their community groups. And here is Mike Gundy, who's watching a news network that is basically saying those things. So, of course Chuba Hubbard's going to be bothered by that. You would be too. And the people that defend Mike Gundy probably align with this news network's stuff, and that's fine. I mean, I would say it's misguided. I would say that it's rooted in division and racism, but you can believe whatever you want. But the point is, Mike Gundy, to not know that by espousing that network, you're basically spitting in the face of most of your roster is ridiculous. And that's just like Mike Gundy being an idiot. Let's just face it. He's just, he's kind of a blowhard. He, he, he's kind of just a mulleted blowhard. And he's fine as a head coach. He's fine. Is he great? No. Is he terrible? No. He's fine. But this is just Mike Gundy, who is obviously completely oblivious to the beliefs of his kids and one of his kids finally called him on it.